Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is all about my collaboration challenge I host each month called Be Creative. This month, it's all about learning. So I've been trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do this month that had to do with learning. School's starting for a lot of us, and I thought learning was going to be a perfect challenge for us to do. I like to make these fabric links and use them in my jewelry and my boho dangles. They're made from sari ribbon and wire. I've also been making a lot of these coiled wire beads. But today I wanted to try something different and maybe learn something. So we're going to be using this yarn to make one of these links. Most of us are probably very familiar with this type of yarn. I have made several scarves, they're real fluffy type scarves, it used to be really popular several years ago. Not so much anymore, and so I have all this yarn, but no project to do with them. So why not try to make some jewelry out of it? I'm going to be using 20 gauge wire, my round nose pliers, my flat nose pliers, and my wire cutters. First thing I'm going to do is take my round nose pliers, and I am just going to wrap a um, loop and it doesn't matter about where the wire uh, ends up. I do want to tuck it in a little bit but we will be covering that up with the yarn so it really doesn't make any difference what it looks like. Now I do need a ruler and we're going to measure. Today I'm measuring this bead to be about an inch and that's not including the loops on either side. And again, I'm just going to wrap a loop, but I'm only going to make one rotation around. And I'm going to keep my wire intact, because the next thing I'm going to do is take my yarn, and this is where it gets a little fiddly, but I'm going to wrap around this form. And you just have to keep messing with the yarn. Like I said, it's a little fiddly, but um, you know this is very boho, so it doesn't have to be perfect and tidy and neat neat. It just needs to look cool. One thing you do have to be careful about when you're wrapping is you do not want to wrap the loops where you can't see them. Those need to be hanging out. And you just keep wrapping and tightening it up until you get the size that you want, the thickness that you want of this bead. So now I'm starting to take my wire and I'm going to wrap it around the loop again and just kind of messily wrap it up and down the bead, tucking in the things that I want tucked in. Now sometimes there may be some little piece of yarn sticking out and you may want that or if you don't want it try to tuck it in or if you can't tuck it in you can clip it off at a later date. Once you have it how you want it, uh, go ahead and clip off the yarn and just keep wiring and tucking things in until you're satisfied. Now you want to end your wire around one of the loops and then that way it's easier to tuck that wire in so it's not sticking out to scratch.
Now, if you're making these for earrings, you might want to, as you're wrapping the second bead or link, to compare it to the other one. These two don't match exactly, but it's okay. I'm not using them for earrings. This is what it looks like when they're all finished. I use sorry ribbon on these earrings, but uh, you can make dangles, necklaces, bookmarks. Use your imagination. These are really fun, and if you like the boho look, they're a perfect addition to your style. I want to thank you all for joining me today for my Be Creative Challenge, which was learning this month. I hope you go check out all the other participants. Just use the hashtag Be Creative Learning and check them out, and you all have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.